Traveling to Buenos Aires for me is an incredibly creative energy that I keep rediscovering every time. Buenos Aires has changed so much in the last few years and every time I come back I feel like I'm rediscovering it. And you can really feel it in neighborhoods like this, like Villa Crespo, where galleries like Ruth Ben Sacar have created these beautiful huge spaces. Mora Bacal, Ruth Ben Sacar's granddaughter, has inherited her grandmother's passion for art and together with her mom directs the gallery following the same philosophy with which it was founded to discover, represent and promote contemporary Argentinian art. When we moved to Villa Crespo for three years, we were a couple of galleries. Today, we are around 30 and we work together coordinatedly to generate interesting dynamics in the neighborhood. Jorge Macchi and Nicolás Fernández Sanz developed this exhibition here in Villa Crespo and what they did was construct a scale of 1 to 1 of what was our space in the street of Florida, where we were for 30 years. The whole area of Palermo has become so popular and has changed so much in the last 20 years. It went from being very quiet and residential to this young and vibrating area full of restaurants, designers and artist studios. Hidden in the center of Palermo Soho, we find proper Leo Lanusol's and Auto Mayer's new restaurant, which is successfully renovating the city's restaurant scene. Y hay como una tradición acá que nos une, que es el fuego. Acá no hay empresarios, somos nosotros dos. La cocción al fuego me parece que es lo que nos representa Argentina. Tratamos de usar de un método de cocción antiguo, o sea, de valorizar el fuego cocinar con una chapa de hierro bien caliente que toque el producto, eso ya es un sabor. Proper has built a reputation out of only working with Argentinian producers and seasonal products. Everything is fresh and delicious. Here we can find Florencia Rodríguez Giles' studio, whose work ranges from performance to sculpture and always driven by the same concept, which is experiences. In Buenos Aires, I have the sensation that everything is going to happen and the artists tend to auto-gestion us, to look for the ways to create the projects that we want. And in general, we don't confide or we don't expect to have an support institutional support, even if we look for it. En el 2012 empecé con un grupo de personas que compartían sus sueños todos los días en un grupo cerrado en Facebook y bueno, de ahí surgieron varias performances y varias obras y lo que hice fue hacer juguetes con imágenes que aparecían en los sueños. Buenos Aires is a city of reinvention, it's diverse and vibrant, sometimes even unknown to many locals. Our journey ends at Lusitano, where my friend Maria Campos graces us with her music, which is a very particular mix between tango and cumbia.